Who else loves a Bath and Body Works haul? Let's show you what I got. How's this? Not too bad of a background? Not too bad, not too bad. Huge box from Bath and Body Works. Ooh, paper, lovely paper. So I got a bunch of wallflowers. Ooh, nice. So I got the Rainforest Gardenia. That's Gary in the background. Sweater Weather, Autumn, Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin, and then Caramel Pumpkin Swirl. So all these to make the bathroom. I have a wallflower upstairs in the main bathroom with this thing in it. So I want to be able to make it smell nice. Ooh. <clears throat> My, the main thing that I get at Bath & Body Works is their soap. Oh, whoa. Whoa, y'all. It's true. How's that? Some light. What if we moved you closer? Ooh, better? What if we even moved you over here? Sorry for no makeup. I don't usually wear makeup during the day because what's the point? So these two are probably my favorite scents. The Wild Honeysuckle and then the Moonlight Path. Oh my gosh, amaze balls! I love those two. And we only get the um, deep cleansing hand soap, not the foaming kind because it just doesn't feel like you're getting your hands clean. You know what I mean? So I got a four fall scents, aside from my two favorites scents um, in general. I got sunlight and apple trees. Mmm. I don't know what some of these things smell like. So, like mostly, most of these things I know of or I've gotten in the past. Purchased in the past? Is that is that a word? Gotten? I don't. It doesn't sound like a word. Um, let's see. This one. You know the Yankee Candle that smells like crisp apples? That's Macintosh apples. That's what that smells like. Exactly. I mean, I don't know if the the apple trees or the sunlight where that's coming in, but it's literally just, you know. What? Macintosh apples. I'm losing my mind today. Yeah, so I'm just unwrapping these things. I'm taking a break from work. It's always good to take a break. You can't just sit, just keep sitting there all day long or else you're gonna just drive yourself crazy, which I do sometimes. Oh, what is that? That's like a, a hint of lemon. Oh, you know, and that, that smell that trees have when they're they're losing their leaves that's what it smells like oh autumn leaves sunny mandarin i knew there was like a citrus note in there i don't know if, if i know what mandarin smells like though but yeah I, I felt like it it smells a little citrusy citrus notes so if you like citrus notes this is a good kitchen one i think so yeah yeah i like that one golden autumn day that one's really good now I'm so tasty. It's not gonna, it's not gonna focus. We ain't got time for that. Ooh, look at this one. This one is Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin, which I think I got the hand cream for this last year. So, I already know. It's pretty sweet. Very, it kind of smells fresh almost in this, this one. Pumpkin, cinnamon, and sugar cane. So it, it does... I just touched it to my face, but it's my little, I don't know if it's the pumpkin smell is that strong with this one. Um, this one is blue, 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 crisp morning air, and it's supposed to smell like soft pine, fresh juniper, and juicy pear. Definitely smell the pear. It has that sweet smell. I keep touching it to my nose. A little bit of pine, maybe more of a pine sol, but still pine. 
and fresh juniper. I don't really know that I know what fresh juniper smells like, but if that's what it smells like, that's that's what it smells like. This felt smells pretty fresh. Also a little bit sweet at the same time. What else we got in here? Ooh. So this has been one of my new favorite scents. I this is all actually a repurchase. Um, is the Hello Beautiful, and this is the Hello Beautiful Shea Body Cream, and this stuff smells delicious. Um, maybe not delicious, but you know what I mean. It smells amazing, and I just want to eat it up. It has gardenia scent and cotton, which I feel are the two strongest ones, but there also is jasmine petals, magnolia blossom, and pink nectarine. Oh, it just smells. I feel like the gardenia and the cotton are what are the top notes where they're super strong. Maybe a little bit of the jasmine, but as far as the pink nectarine and the magnolia blossom, I don't know that I can smell those. Definitely gardenia and cotton though. And this smells subtle. It almost reminds me of Zoella. Her first scent. It's that subtle scent where it just smells clean and fresh and just beautiful. So if you're looking for a dupe for her stuff and because you're in America and um, you don't want to pay the really long shipping fees, which is why, um, well, actually in America you can't get the, whatchamacallit, sprays, the sprays. So I got this Hello Beautiful because since we can't get that one in the US, oh. yeah, I just wanted that. So, and I wanted to leave this by the door so when I'm running out, it's just something that I can go and spray because I don't really have something that I can really do that with. I haven't bought just like a fragrance mist thing that's not a cologne, you know? If you put a, too much, too many spritz of a cologne on, you smell like, whoa girl, go back and take another shower, right? So I got that and then I got this little leaf container thing, which I thought was adorable. So you can just take this off, spray, and then put it by the front door and it still looks cute. You don't have to be like, oh, I've got I'm leaving my junk all over the house. No, I've got this leaf thing. It's fall decor. Mm-hmm. Kind of like bags going. Yeah. And next thing. So those, these Ultra Shea body creams are probably my favorite lotions ever because they really do moisturize, especially in our dry weather in Colorado. Yeah, so I got one in my favorite scent, of course, because I love this one. I think this is like a comfort scent to me. This one smells, it says jasmine, blue violet, sheer lavender, lily of the valley, and soft musk. I wonder if it's the musk that I love. But the lavender, just all those combined, it just smells fresh and comforting and it feels like I'm in a spa. So I, that's why I really love this one and I hope they never go away with this scent because I will cry. Um, for fall, then I got the sweet cinnamon pumpkin. Um, I got the hand cream one last year, but I wanted to get more of a lotion one so I could feel fall-ish. And then before summer's over, I got Live Fresh, which I have not smelled before. Okay, that smells, it doesn't tell you. Seaside Breeze. This one doesn't have anything on the back. Usually it has like the stuff on the back. Where's the stuff on the back? Huh? Bath and Body Inks? Where is it? Dunno. They said dunno. So, yeah, but this one smells. I've got so many lotions going on at the same time. Good thing. <sighs> smells like the sand, sunscreen. Sand and sunscreen and just like beach air. I feel like also a fresh scent feels like or smells like. Um, I don't know if you have a see a theme here I like fresh scents I hate I hate fl too florally or too sweet of scents and I got two last things another one is a repurchase 
because I love it so much. And on the bottle it says limited edition, like limited time. So I wonder if that's just like a way for them to get me to buy it faster. <laughs> but I got this one. It is the Sleep Detoxify Body Lotion in Black Chamomile. And this again, um, certain scents just make me feel calmer. And this definitely helps me feel like I'm ready to go to sleep. So I got this. I leave this downstairs and I put it on while we're watching a show. Because we usually watch a show or something like that before we go to bed. So I've got another one of those because I love it and then the last thing I got is this lavender chamomile pillow mist so I have a hard time personally I have a hard time going to sleep um, it doesn't matter what I do not you know putting my phone away whatever my brain just keeps going and it's hard for me to go to sleep so usually I get just get up and go do stuff so go downstairs and work on an edit or watch a movie or work on schoolwork still which school's almost over thank goodness but yeah so I wanted to try I'm all for trying like natural things I do not take like those pills or anything to help you go to sleep I don't do that I've tried ZQL ZQL is actually non-habit forming sleep aid which actually I love so I take that every once in a while when I've got like something I need to wake up for and I just can't go to sleep so I take that um, but not very often so I always look for things that help me relax a little bit more like this the sleep um, detoxify body lotion just helps calm me down and then the sleep lavender chamomile pillow spray I wanted to give a try um, I've seen lots of pillow sprays but this one is pretty affordable compared to the ones that I've seen on Amazon. I don't know. I'm cheap. <laughs> yeah, that's all that came in the box, including, ooh, coupons. Well, see, they just want you to buy more. They just want you to buy more. Find your signature scent. I found my signature scent. <laughs> all right, I am going to have some lunch and take a quick walk around the block and then get back to work. So I will see you later. Gary, you're a really bad walker, aren't you? Come on, I know, you saw a rabbit and you wanna get it. It's like 6 p.m. I uploaded this like at I want to say 2 2 o'clock and it still looks like this what the heck man yeah so but on another note I just got back from the gym yeah yeah Look at that, all greasy and stuff. And look what's missing. There used to be something there on the floor. And it was the Stairmaster thing. Just sold it. So got rid of that because really, I haven't used it. You know, I've got the other gym that I go to twice a week. Plus we are a part of a, you know, regular, your basic gym. Gary, you can't be up there. So, there's no point in having two gyms plus having a bunch of stuff at home. Just use the gym membership. So, that is the plan with that. Got rid of that thing. Um, I am making dinner. I am brining some chicken. And I am going to make some chicken salad. I think, yeah. That sounds good, huh? Chicken salad. Most of, not all the chicken's going in the salad, actually. It's gonna be a little bit of chicken, just a couple of diced pieces. And then most of the chicken is gonna be for lunches. Um, for tomorrow. So like, Ryan will take a chicken and I'll take a chicken. 
We'll need to make some fried rice and stuff to put those together with it. And my butter is dying, of course. But yeah, it's a good day at work today. I felt like I accomplished a lot. Not so great at the gym. I feel like I clicked something. Something went wrong with my ankle. So, on Tuesday. And so now, it makes this weird clicking feeling and it just, it kind of hurts. So I'm gonna ice it tonight. So, I didn't, and I ended up doing the bike instead of the treadmill at the Orange Theory gym, which I actually prefer. So, I might actually just continue doing that so I don't hurt my ankle again. I'm just not a good runner. Should not ever run again. Um, I tried the walking thing, but I couldn't get my heart rate up with walking. And then running was the only way I could get my heart rate up, but I hurt my ankle, so I'm gonna try the bike instead. Um, so yeah, what else is happening? Ryan's taking a shower. The puppies are looking wonderful. Um, we have someone coming, coming to watch our babies. Huh. We have someone coming to watch you. You gotta get down. He keeps getting on top and we're trying to teach him not to do that, but he doesn't listen. So yes, we have someone um, that works for Ryan that's gonna come and watch the babies for um, this Saturday. Yeah, this Saturday. And then we are going up to Denver. I'm super excited about that. So we still need to continue our Harry Potter movie marathon and get ready and amped up. I've got to finish, still got to finish the Harry Potter and the Cursed Child book. I feel like I'm pacing right now, sorry. <laughs> um, but got to finish that book because I know there's going to be a couple questions on there. They already said it online. Um, what else? Yeah, we're going we're gonna to win this. We haven't been able to find two other people to, that want to come with us. I think mainly because it's Denver. We don't really know that many people in Denver. Not many people like to go all the way up north to Denver to a bar trivia. You know, for something like that. But, you know, mainly because, you know, it's a bar. So there's going to be drinking there if they wanted to have a, a, a beer or something. They probably wouldn't feel comfortable driving home. So, luckily we're staying the night, so that's why we've made a whole weekend of it. So we're gonna go up there, spend the night. Um, we're gonna go up there, do the bar trivia, spend the night, and then on our way back on Sunday, we're gonna go to some a little bit of shopping. So that'll be exciting. I love Denver shopping, so lots of places to go. Mm. So I've been, pretty good about not spending any money lately the past few days Ryan so I can spend it all on Sunday sorry <laughs> okay I am gonna continue making dinner and yeah continue it's kind of a lazy day especially with the rain it's kind of rainy yeah let's get to it bye